Ronnie Cray. Reggie Cray. Identical twins who rose from poverty to power. Almost Jack McFitty, a hitman for the Crays and other criminal stuff. An out of control criminal addicted to drugs and alcohol. Jack McFitty, born April 1932, was best known as Jack the Head, was an English criminal from the London during the 1950s and 1960s. He supposedly famous for triggering the imprisonment and downfall of the Cray twins. He had acted as an enforcer and hitman with links to the firm. McFitty's first criminal conviction was in October 1946 when he was taken to Hunting Ford Juvenile Court for stealing a watch and cigarettes. McFitty married Mary Marnie in Surrey in 1950. He fathered one son who named Tony McFitty. The nickname Jack the Head is said to be because of his chubbly head and had to war to cover his hair loss. A known drug trafficker by the 1960s, he had been associated with the Great Danes for some time, and although never a permanent member of the firm, he was regularly employed to commit various crimes on their behalf. In 1967, Ronnie Carey paid McFitty 500 pounds in advance to kill ex-friend and business partner Leslie Payne, promising he would give another 500 pounds when the job was finished. It made fears that Payne was about to inform the police of his criminal activities, McFitty and a friend, Billy Axley, set off to shoot Payne, but were unsuccessful. Actually, the driver suffered from a heart trouble and McFitty was now heavily dependent on drugs. Axley started to lose his nerve when McFitty produced a handgun, in Axley's words, the size of a bleeding cannon. Arriving at Payne's home, McFitty hammered loudly on the front door, which luckily for Payne was opened by his wife. He's not in, she said. That's alright, said McFitty, and he and Axley left. Instead of repaying the money, McFitty kept it. The incident led in part to McFitty's death on October 29, 1967. McFitty was invited to a party evening in road in Stoke Newington, London, with several of his honorable associates and their families. The Grays had secretly arrived at the party first and had spent an hour clearing away guests. Reggie Gray into a plan to shoot McFitty upon and Terry failed. His gun jammed and instead he stabbed McFitty repeatedly in the face, chest and stomach. As part of a brief but violent struggle, the twins quickly fled the scene and McFitty's body was disposed wrapped in an either down and left outside St. Mary Church, Rodders hit by Tony and Chris, Keith Eskin and Ronnie Bender, who were minor members of the firm. When the Grey discovered the whereabouts of the corpse, they were ordered it to be immediately moved to properly because of the close promiscuity of a friend and associate Freddy Foreman. The body was never recovered, although in an interview in 2000, which featured with Red Grey giving a frank account of the activity of the firm 12 days before his death. Foreman admitted to throwing McFitty's body from a boat into a sea in New Haven, Sussex. He also reported to have been buried in a newly drug grave the Grace Sand Cemetery in Kent. Following McFitty's murder, the Grace and several other members of the gang were finally arrested by the Scotland Yard police officers who had been watching their exploits for years at the Old Bailey on March 4, 1969. Both were found guilty of murder and sentenced to life imprisonment with the recommendation that they should each serve a minimum of 30 years. Running murder conviction was for the murder of a rival gangster George Connell who was shot dead in March 1966.